I ordered a frameless glass shower panel sold by Glass Warehouse that is 33 inches wide by 78 inches high. I made sure that there was a stud right where the hardware should be screwed into the wall so that I won't have to use any plugs. I ordered matte black hardware, but there was a mix-up on Amazon and I received these shiny brass pieces, so I'm going to install this temporarily. I contacted Glass Warehouse and they made it very easy to get replacement hardware, provided that I could show proof of purchase. I'm putting two pieces on the wall and one piece on the floor. I'll insert a plug that came with the panel into the floor. This panel is pretty heavy, but manageable. I'll push it into place and then tighten the screws to hold the panel securely. Normally I would put a bead of silicone along the bottom, but this is a temporary installation, so I'll do that once the black hardware arrives. Next, I'll install the mirror over the vanity. In an earlier video, I mentioned that I used old work electrical boxes for the outlets. That's so that I could center the mirror over the vanity and then have the two outlets positioned symmetrically around the center point of the mirror. Next, I'll drill a hole in the upper right corner of the shower niche and through the stud right where the aluminum C-channel is. I'm using some low voltage wire that I had left over from a garage door opener that I installed a few years ago. I'll connect the wire to a 12 volt transformer that I have on the other side of the drywall. I've left the other side of the wall open for now so that I can get this connected, and then I'll put up drywall on that side. Then I'll cut the LED strip to length on one of the marks where it indicates you can cut the strip. It was a little too long, so I cut it at the next increment. I'll test the fit and then remove the paper that covers the adhesive backing, and then I'll carefully stick it on to the aluminum C-channel. Then I'll apply a bead of clear silicone to seal up the ends and to help ensure that it remains stuck. The black hardware has arrived from Glass Warehouse, so I'll remove the panel and swap out the hardware. This time I'll put some silicone under each piece of hardware. It looks white, but it'll be clear when it has cured.
And then I'll put a bead of silicone under the glass panel. It's a fairly large gap, so I'll come back later with a second application. Next, I'll install the window trim. I had already installed the head jam, the side jams, and the window stool made from hickory and painted white. Many people refer to that as the window sill, but the sill is the part that's outside. It's the stool that is inside that you can set something on. This trim is three inches wide and is made from MDF. MDF may not be the best choice for a bathroom, but it's painted on all sides, so it'll likely be fine. In the craftsman style, I'll lay a two inch piece on top and then I'll put another three inch piece, then another two inch piece on its side, and then a two and a half inch piece on top of that. I was careful to be sure there would be just enough room beneath the bulkhead to accommodate the trim. I'll put a shim at the top to make sure that there's enough pressure on this glued joint because there isn't enough room to get my nail gun in there. And then I'll install the apron under the stool. I'll fill the nail holes with spackling, caulk around the edges, and then paint one more time. Next, I'll put the toilet paper right under the stool. Sorry, I couldn't resist a bit of bathroom humor. I'm using a special drill bed that's made for tile. It's okay to drill now and make some dust because the caulk is hard. Next, I'll install a hand towel ring near the vanity, a towel hook near the shower, and a towel bar over the toilet. Everything is black in this bathroom, so that's why it was important to swap out the brass hardware for the glass panel. We still have one towel hook and an 18 inch towel bar that came with this set that we may install later, but we want to keep things clean looking. If we do install the 18 inch towel bar, it will go on the end of the vanity, but I hate to screw into the white oak unless we absolutely need it. Plus it might make it feel crowded around the toilet if we do that. And now it's time for the reveal. Let's not forget where we started. I'm pretty happy with the way this bathroom turned out. I still need to build the linen cabinet that goes here, and I have the hallway to finish, but I'll get started on that in the new year. <laughs> 